What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on the Let's Play Town Hall 9 account and the clan games ended. Well, they ended yesterday. I wanted to get this video out yesterday, Monday. However, I wasn't feeling that great Sunday night and just didn't feel like recording to be honest with you. It just kind of took a day off. So what we're doing today is you guys probably know from the thumbnail title, all that great stuff, is we're going to find out if you can get multiple books. If we look at our magic items, it says one out of one on our books. One out of one of the book of troops, one out of one on the book of heroes. Well, let's see if we can get multiples of those books. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. Also, before we get into that, I have this gem box inside my base. Should I leave it or remove it? If I don't remove it, I don't get any more gem boxes. If I leave it, it looks cool right there by the expo, right? Ugh, I'm on the fence. I also got me a couple nice little fortune trees over here. Those are really awesome. You know, you click those and you get coins. Okay, you don't get coins, but they look really, really cool. And then I also finally got the fireworks today, which that thing is really awesome. I want to get another one. I don't know. I might remove that at some point. We'll see how it goes. But guys, that is what we're doing today. We're going to see if we can get these multiple books. And we're going to be doing that really soon. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on those notifications and leave a like on the video. Can we get to like 126 likes in this video in the first hour? First hour? I'm challenging you guys. Leave a like on the video. All right, guys. So what we're going to be doing today besides that stuff is we have three builders available. It's a Let's Play Town 9. Then also I got these Wizard Towers almost done. Haven't played this account in a few days if you haven't been able to notice. So let's go ahead and check out actually the progress base. We won't be able to check it out. Ew, that guy's in the way of the progress base. All right, one second. Let me fix the progress base and that way we can use it. All right, guys, pretty simple fix. I just had to move this uh, gold mine up a little bit. So if we look over here, we got a lot of our defenses done. We got mortars, you know, we got sweepers. We got that last bow. And honestly, I think I'm ready to get that last bow up to level three. Let's go ahead and get that baby up today if we get enough gold. We might not get enough gold. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, and then we're just going to work on the rest of our damage, our, our defenses rather, and get those going. Our lab looking really good. I'm actually going to get the book of spells because we do have some spells uh, to upgrade. And then we got a little bit of dark troops. So let's go ahead and take a look at the clan game rewards. We did get to tier seven. I don't know how. Shout out to... Uh, all of our guys that absolutely wrecked it. We had quite a bit of guys getting up to 3k. If you see here, we got to 1180. I was a little bit of a slacker. So tier 1, gems. No brainer. We're going to be getting tons of loot. Tier 2, a little bit more questionable. Gems. Gems. Training potions are going to save us more gems. So that's what we're going to do. And then more gems. Because honestly, there's raids where I can get 600k, 600k, and 3k dark elixir. Whereas 40 gems, I can boost up my barracks, you know, make it a little bit more worth it. Now, tier 5 is where things get interesting. We got the Book of Fighting, which allows you to finish a troop upgrade. We got the Book of Heroes, which allows you to finish a hero upgrade. Or the Book 3 Resource Potions, which... Who in the right mind is taking that over a book of heroes or a book of fighting? I, I mean, if you're a max, if you have max heroes, you don't need resources. I don't know. For me, I'm going book of heroes again. Remember, we have one in our clan castle. Let's see if we can get two. I might lose this. I don't know. Hopefully, we don't lose this thing because I really need it. I want to upgrade my king today. And then on slot five, we have three training potions over here, which those are really good. I like those a lot. But we also have the book of spells, which is technically a better value. And I do have spell upgrades. So let's go ahead and select that book of spells. And then the last tier, quite a bit of dark elixir, but really that's like two or three raids. We're going to take a training potion. We can get that in two or three raids. No problem. Add the clan castle. Not enough space for book of heroes. Oh no, guys, we got to get... So we either have to take a different reward or free up space. Huh. Huh. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta hurry up and get some loot for the king. Because in new clan games, I was I was hoping that would work. New clan games starts in about 50 minutes. So what we're gonna be using today is Lunian, guys. We haven't used Lunian in quite a while. 32 balloons, 26 minions, two rages, one heal, three haste, and we're also gonna get a hound in our clan castle. So I guess technically it's a La Lunian. But, you know, if we get balloons in the clan castle, not a big deal. Uh, so this first raid I'm going to do is just dumping these troops. These are troops I had trained up to donate to people. Uh, half of a Lunian. I figured why not just use this rather than dump it and burn it and not use it for a video. I mean, it's a pretty decent army. So we're going to go ahead and use that baby. Let's, uh, do we have any training potions or do I need to gem up? Uh, we don't have any tra training potions. So let's go ahead and get a boost going. I'm going to go out. we got to get this king going uh, really fast. That way we don't lose those rewards when the next clan game starts. Huh, I wonder if that would happen. I don't want to risk it, guys. I don't want to risk it. All right, I'm going to go out, find a raid. We'll be back really soon. We only have to get uh, 16k Dark Elixir. Not too bad. Be back soon. All right, guys, this base will be really good for us. Uh, all the Dark Elixir is going to be up in those drills up there. So we're going to go ahead and go in there. 
We are going to go right into the sweepers, but we got tons of haste spells, so not a big deal on that one, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and get our hounds and get our balloons, our minions, and let's go ahead and haste these balloons in there. We'll even haste that one balloon. And why not? Let's throw in the five hog riders because, well, we got hog riders in here, so let's do it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and heal right through there. Uh, looks like that uh, that's actually a dead expo, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, that queen's a little bit of a problem. I'm going to poison her to slow her down. Since we got two poisons, we might as well use them up, right? Uh, let's go ahead and heal these balloons over here. Poison that king because... Well, he's being a bozo, so let's go ahead and take him out. So this is what I do sometimes when I have an army that's halfway decent, or even if I have a full army on an account that I'm not pushing on, I'll just try to use it and try to get some loot. It's better than dumping the army and losing all the loot, you know? So this way we're able to get some of the loot back, and we also, you know, have a raid for the video using hog riders, balloons, and we actually, like, might even three-star this base. Having the two lava hounds actually helped out quite a bit, so... This is going to be a pretty OP raid right here, guys. So let's go ahead and throw our heroes in, make sure we dumped everything. And then we will have our traditional Lunian uh, coming up right after this. Hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this raid. Uh, but I, I like doing this quite a bit. I know it's uh, something a little bit weird and different. Probably, you know, doesn't really need to be done. But I thought it was a good idea. Didn't, didn't want to waste time because, like I said, clan game starts in about 50 minutes, I think. Something like that. So I don't want to miss out on that book of heroes because I was like, huh. I wonder if that is going to work, if I'm going to be allowed to take it. And again, we weren't allowed to take it. I'm going to try it again once we get back, just to make sure. Uh, but there we go, getting that 3-star, nice 2700 Dark Elixir, some good loot right there. But let me see, let's let's try this again. Let's try it again just to be safe. That, 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 that. Oh! All right, guys, I'll be back really soon. Let's get to farming. All right, guys, a nice base with 4,900 Dark Elixir available. You know we're going for it. Bows are down, uh, so let's go ahead and wreck this one. So we got to get up to 65K Dark Elixir. I do have a little bit in the clan castle if need be, if time's getting close. I'm watching the time uh, until the clan games start on my other device over there. Uh, and then I also have the Town Hall 11 out in the clouds, still maintaining top 200 US. Still so pumped up about that. Loving the Town Hall 11 push right now. Wow, how did we miss that? Air defense right there, that was kind of weird. Uh, so we're looking really good getting through here. That queen kind of wrecking some of our balloons there, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. Nice haste sweeper. The sweeper helps us out and gets us hasted up. Uh, we lost a lot of pups though. We did lose a lot of pups, I noticed that. But we're still looking really solid through this base. We should be able to... Let me see if I can get that queen's attention here. She's going to get those minions. Actually, the minions might get her. All right, minions take out that queen, so that's perfect. And then we've got to try to get this last little bit of Dark Elixir right here. I'm going to put the king in to clear out there. Those minions are going to kind of get Shrek just a little bit. And then we'll kind of go in with our queen to try to get that going. Here come the little skellies. Poor little skellies are going to get punched in the face. This account has been progressing really, really fast uh, to the point where we're going to have quite a bit of stuff done. And our heroes will be 20, 20, 25, 25, somewhere around there. I have been slacking a little bit lately, not going to lie, but the account going pretty well, just about as much as I planned. Again, guys, you want to make sure you're farming that Dark Elixir, getting those heroes going up as fast as possible. That way you're not behind and just doing heroes at the end. So there we go, almost 5k Dark Elixir total. We're only in gold one. Yuck, we got to get up. We got to get up to Crystal League, guys. All right, so I'm going to wait for the army. We are at 5,600. We'll be back really soon, guys. All right, guys, found a base here a little bit low on time. Not too bad, but uh, <laughs> kind of got distracted. My bad, guys, my bad. We're just going to go in up here. We don't have a Lava Hound, so we're just going to rock and roll here with our balloons and uh, get it going in here. And we just got to get at it, man. We just got to get at it. So, yeah, my bad on the time thing on this one. Don't worry about that. Um, I was kind of in the kitchen, and then... You know, I found a base. All right, I started searching when I was in the kitchen. I was like, I'll be all right. And then I came back and I was like, I gotta go. Not necessarily came back, but like I was nexting in the kitchen. I was like, had to hurry up and get. Anyways, uh, we're rocking through this base. We're absolutely getting all of this loot, getting that dark elixir. And that's what we need, guys. We need to just absolutely tear these little low bases up, not go off on wild ta tangents about being in other rooms and stuff. We need to stay focused on getting the dark elixir for the town hall eight. Let's play. All right, guys. Uh, uh, I'll settle down a little bit. Settle down a little bit. Town Hall 8, let's play. Town Hall 9, let's play. Oh my goodness, Town Hall 8. What am I doing right now? So we're going to rock all this Dark Elixir out. Uh, we definitely have to get the 3 star because we got to get up to Crystal League. I love Crystal League farming. That is my favorite league to farm in. There we go, guys. A nice 400k, 586,000, 3,900 Dark Elixir. Oh, what a beautiful raid. Beautiful, beautiful raid. So we just got to get a little bit more. We still got plenty of time. I'm going to train up. 
Uh, request a hound, and we'll be back really soon, guys. All right, guys, we found a Town Hall 10, and honestly, I think we should be able to take this out. I'm gonna wait for that queen to cycle around, and I'm gonna take out that queen with my king. But there's 4,400 Dark Elixir, and I think we should be all right, especially since we have a hound in our clan castle. Let's go ahead and pop. That's only a level 8 queen, so we should definitely be fine here. Let's go ahead and take her out. Tesla pops up. Then we're gonna go in down here at the bottom side towards this multi inferno. Inferno? I know how to talk. I'm good. I'm good. All right, so we're gonna go towards that multi inferno and get right in there. Man, guys, it's a weird night. I'll tell you what, it's a weird night out here. All right, so let's get these balloons rocking up into this base. We're gonna rage them right there. Uh, see those multi infernos, man. They, they're really nerfed out here. Really nerfed out here. So let's go ahead and haste these guys up. Get some more minions in. Going up. Oh, there's a uh, air defense over there. I should probably watch those minions. That hound's gonna come all the way across the base and go chase uh, that lot or that air defense. That lava. The lava hound's gonna go chase the other lava hound, and then we'll have a. I, I need to. I need to be able to talk tonight, guys. What is going on? All right, so Expo's going down there. We still got tons of hogs. Where's that last little bit of Dark Elixir right there? I'm gonna throw the queen out right there. Kind of a risky play. A little bit of a risky move right there, guys, because, oh, the Inferno dies. I'm gonna say it, because if that single Inferno locks onto our queen, melts her, we're in trouble, but that's not gonna happen because the Inferno's down. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's that's what you gotta do, is find these little Town Hall 10 bases and just bully them out here with your Town Hall 9s. Town Hall 10 three stars, Easiest thing in the game to do. Okay, I'm lying. I'm, I gotta settle down. All right, so we're gonna finish this baby off with a nice three star plus 33 trophies and uh, work our way back up to Crystal League and we get a lot more beautiful loot. That's what I'm talking about, guys. I gotta check my time, make sure we still got plenty of time until the clan game start, which I'm pretty sure we do. Uh, and we're gonna keep going, guys. We're gonna keep it rocking and rolling and we will be back really soon. All right, guys, another Town Hall 10 with 4,100 and honestly, uh, it's got two two of its bows down. I'm not afraid of it. Let's go. King in there on the enemy queen. Let's do it. Let's see how we can get in here. Uh, that multi-inferno down there at the bottom. Not that big of a deal. We got another hound in here. Uh, so I'm ready to rock and roll on this base, guys. I am not afraid of it. They can't make me afraid of it because we're just going to go. All right, so I am going to heal these balloons relatively fast down here. And I'm going to rage instead of haste just to get them through this beginning portion of the base. Uh, but besides that, we're just gonna go right at this baby and uh, get it down. So that mul or that single inferno over there, gotta get taken out. I hasted nothing over there. Nice haste, chief. Uh, so let's go ahead and get those balloons going. And this is what I'm talking about. See, we can get all this stuff taken care of. We can get all the dark elixir. We can get a two star on it. Easy money, guys. Easy money. Everyone always sweats these town hall tens. Like, oh my god, I'm a town hall nine. What do I do? Just attack it. Just three star, don't even worry. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna three star this one, but just attack it. You'll be all right, I promise. It's not that serious. We're probably not gonna three star this one. I shouldn't have said that, I guess, but we're still gonna be really fine on it. And the hound just working over there. Look at that little hound go. Go, hound, go. We're gonna throw those wall breakers. Watch those wall breakers damage this cannon and archer tower. Clutch wall breakers. Okay, a little bit of damage. Uh, we should probably pop our queen's ability so she doesn't get taken out. Our, uh, Wizard Tower goes down, we got all the Dark Elixir, that's beautiful, and we get a 70%, so we can get our full loot bonus. We're out of here, guys, let's go. That's all we need, that's all we need. 4,100 Dark Elixir, 19 trophies, and a good amount of loot. Easy money, boys, easy money. And on that note, we have 67,000 Dark Elixir, so we can go ahead, upgrade our king, and use the Book of Heroes, if you heard that. Just found a base on the Town Hall 11, we're gonna reboost him up. Go collect our uh, claim games rewards. So we wanted gems, gems, training potion, gems, book of heroes, book of spells, gem, our training potion. Bam, there we go, guys. So you cannot have more than one book in there at a time, but you can get that done. See, this is why I wanted to get it done. 15 minutes till the game starts. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Uh, I gotta go attack, and then I gotta go find another base. Well, let's do it. All right, guys, we found a nice base with 3,700 available, and this guy's upgrading to Town Hall, so this might as well be a Town Hall 10, right? This might as well be a Town Hall 10. All right, buddy, if you're watching this video, stop your Town Hall upgrade. You're not ready to go to Town Hall 10 at all. Those baby heroes, like, don't do it to yourself, man. You're going to rush your account, be really far behind, and have a lot of work to do. And you'll be like, oh, my goodness, I got these awesome bowlers, but my base sucks. Uh, because you're going to get ran over on defense and stuff. Like, don't rush your bases, guys. Be patient. Get your base. Like, he's, like, a relatively newer 9 as far as levels of everything go. 
I probably should have uh, healed that group on the left, but it's all right. Uh, we just want to get up in here and get that Dark Elixir. That's all it's really worth. Uh, so we'll have no problem getting the one star, even the two star on this base, as long as we get the Dark Elixir. That's all that matter. And those minions, and they're doing work, helping clear out that Dark Elixir. We got one balloon splitting that Expo, man. That Expo did not want to go down. So let's go ahead and get some wall breaks in. Kind of a risky wall break move. I should have probably just put one in at a time rather than putting all 17. Oh, see, there's a bomb. Bam. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and fight this king and then try to go for the two star. Let's throw our queen in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Level 18, greater than level 13. I don't care if your bow's on me or not. We're going to take you down, buddy. We're taking you down. All right, king, take him out. King and queen. Oh, yeah, look at this fight. He doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, we're going to rage our king up. Get right into this expo. This expo's firing on us. Expo doesn't stand a chance either. Come on, guys. What is this expo thinking? You might as well just stop firing and save those bullets. You guys are gonna need the elixir on this base. All right, guys. I'm done. I'm done trash talking. The but seriously, guys, don't rush your bases. Uh, upgrade as close to max, if not all the way max, as possible. That way, you're not rushed later on. I'm, I'm a big advocate of don't rush your base, guys. Don't do it to yourself. It's just not worth it. So let's go ahead and get out of there. 3,700 Dark Elixir, good amount of loot, 12 trophies, a beautiful little raid right there, and we are working our way up. Now, I was thinking, I'm probably going to lose track of how much loot I gained this episode. So you guys do some maths. Let me know in the comment section how much loot I did gain, and then we'll kind of go from there. But we are getting tons going. Uh, we actually do have enough to get that last bow dropped down. However, I was kind of thinking I might want to. Well, since we are, you know, we're not keeping track. Let's go ahead and grab that loot. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's go ahead and upgrade the wizard tower. Mm, okay, yeah, we'll do the wizard tower. And then we'll upgrade some walls with the elixir. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Now, you guys got some real hard math because you got to figure out all these upgrades I just did. Hey, thanks, guns. Thanks for those troops, brother. We want to upgrade the walls. That way we're not behind on walls. We are going to be behind on walls no matter what. But we don't want to be behind on walls too much. And that's why we're doing walls while we're working on everything else. So troops are ready. And I'm going to go out and find another base. Look at that, guys. Nice time killer right there. And then a few next later, we find this lovely masterpiece with 4,200, 600k dark, or elixir. 4,200 dark elixir, 562,000 gold. A very nice raid. And we got that lovely lava hound for guns, the boss. Uh, one of our lovely Patreon and YouTube sponsors uh, who shows lots of love to the channel. Did you guys know you could sponsor the channel uh, by going to YouTube Gaming and clicking the sponsor button? It helps me out. It gets you some cool perks, especially on the live streams. It's a good time. And we also do our monthly sponsor slash Patreon wars. So if you want to sign up through Patreon or sign up with the sponsorship on YouTube, you can participate in our monthly wars. We all get together. Uh, we've been streaming them a lot. We hop on voice. We talk about what's going on. We usually do something silly like last war we did. Try an attack you don't really use too often for your first attack in war. And it's a good time. It's a good way to learn. It's a good way to kind of get some feedback from me. I try to make myself as available for those as much as possible. Let's take that queen out. Uh, that way I could kind of help out some of my supporters, my patrons, my sponsors. Uh, help them out, help them learn a little bit, and it's always a fun time. Like I said, we get on stream, and we just have a blast with it. We're going to put our queen in here to help out on these last couple defenses. The king's tanking the Tesla, so we should actually be pretty good to get towards that three-star again. And we got to get to the crystal. Are we in crystal yet? I, I wasn't paying attention, guys. I was so excited about getting my Dark Elixir for the king before the clan games. It's like, I got to go, man. I didn't want to lose that extra book. I don't know if you could stack it. I should have tested it for a video. I'll do that on a different account. We'll test that on a vi for a video on another account. So there we go. Nice little bit of loot right there. 4,200 Dark Elixir, 32 trophies, a beautiful raid. Uh, we got two minutes and we will, or two minutes till the clan game start and we'll be back with the next army here in a minute, guys. All right, guys, another Town Hall 10 out here. Uh, we're going to give it a try. This one has higher defenses, but it's a dead Town Hall 10, meaning that the Infernos and Expos don't have any ammo. They haven't been reloaded. So this account hasn't been played on too much. So we're going to try to get in here. We don't have a Lava Hound, however. I'm going to go ahead and heal these balloons through this little portion right here. I'm going to haste these balloons over here. We should be able to get through. Actually, we didn't get much on that heal. My heal spells, man. i got to lead my troops a little bit better. Uh, but that's a part, you know, that's a part of attacking. You just got to... Sometimes you'll have your ups and downs. You got to just get better. Farm attacks is a good way to learn spell placement, in my opinion. It's a good place to learn how your troops are going to behave, what defense they're going to kind of path to. So, I mean, obviously, like, I know what I need to do. That's a good place to kind of work on correcting the issues, you know? Uh, I don't think people take that 
as seriously as they should. It's like farming, you know, when you're farming, try to do well on the base. Don't just go out there and try to get the loot. Unless you're using like goblins or something, you know, and just, you know, hitting the outside. But if you're using a, a decent comp, even if it's just Lunian, try to do well on the base. It'll help you in the long run. So we're gonna try to get to 70% here. Uh, that way we can get our full league bonus. And then we'll kind of go from there. There we go, perfect. Queen hits that, oops. And the clan games uh, just started. I saw my other account, 4,000 Dark Elixir. Let's take a look at these babies. So we got clan games starting. Uh, we got nice rewards. Level one is uh, some gems, loot, gems and loot on the other one. Then we got potions on tier three. Tier four, we got a little bit more loot and gems. Honestly, the one, two, and four, I'm taking, I'm taking gems all day on all of my accounts. Uh, three, probably training potions on most of my accounts. Uh, book of building is nice. Finishes a building upgrade, so I'll be taking the book of building for tier five. Tier six, we got the book of fighting, which I'll definitely be taking uh, on most of my accounts, and the book of spells, and then three training potions. So I think book of fighting we will take on most of them. And tier seven, come on, man! Tier seven is a letdown again. 1.2 million gold. I can get that in three raids usually at minimum. 6k dark elixir and then a training potion. I don't know, man. Tier seven, the 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 tier tier six is 30,000 points. Tier seven is 50,000. Two thirds of that, you know, all the way up. Like that's almost double and the rewards aren't that good that's my little rant about that so we're gonna finish off our session i think we got one more attack left and we'll be back really soon guys all right guys for our final attack why not hit another 10 uh inferno down good defenses i'm not gonna cut them short there inferno's down but we're gonna go for it man i'm going to send my heroes in we're gonna go kind of sacrificial hero on this one i don't want that level 28 queen uh fighting my balloons and all that good stuff so i'm gonna send in both of my heroes just to make sure she goes down uh, it looks like the king could have been enough, but just want to make sure she goes down because she's going to pop off a bunch of our balloons. And that's something I've been experimenting with a little bit more as I'm farming is kind of diving with the heroes at the beginning of the raid. It's a little bit more risky, not going to lie, but sometimes, man, the value you can get uh, from sending both of your heroes in nice and early far outweighs the value of later on. I meant to drop a haste there. That wasn't supposed to be a rage, but looks like it should work out pretty well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and heal this huge clump right there. I'm going to haste them through that bow and then back into the Archer Tower. Right out of range of that lovely, lovely heal spell. So like here, for example, I mean, we're going to get pretty good value by putting in our heroes sooner rather than later. I mean, we're going to get all this stuff taken out. Queen's still working throughout the base anyways. And we're looking really nice, honestly, guys. We're looking really nice through the base. I'm going to throw in that one minion right there. We got one minion on the town hall. Uh, King takes out our queen, but we have a decent line at that last little bit of dark elixir. And that's what we really want, is to try to get that last little bit of dark elixir. So, pretty decent session today. I don't know how much we finished yet. I mean, I think it's, you know, just under 30,000. I didn't do a full session, honestly. Uh, got a little bit distracted with some other things, so don't take it as, you know, 30k per hour type deal. But we did have a pretty good session overall, and really satisfied with getting our hero up. And we got more books coming, guys. Like, it seems like they're doing a good job keeping the clan games coming to us and keeping those books also coming, which is going to help us, you know, upgrade a lot, especially on this base. Of course, there's a builder hut there. <laughs> especially on this base, it's going to help us out quite a bit. So I'm really excited and pumped up about that. Uh, that other minion should be coming over. And that's uh, that's really good positive stuff. Are you guys digging the clan games? Are you guys into that? I like the clan games quite a bit. Very nice feature. Good way to keep people active. And uh, I think it's just a positive thing overall for the game. So we're not going to get all the Dark Elixir here. But we're going to do a good job. I'm going to go ahead and just end right there. And then we'll go back home and see. We have 3.1 million. I don't think that's really enough to upgrade anything. It is. Oh, we could get our last little spring trap. So there we go. Get our last little spring trap going. So very beautiful there, guys. Decent little session, but mostly I wanted to check and see if we could get multiple books, and then obviously we gotta get our books going again. Jeez, they're killing me. I run. I have six accounts. I play like four of them, but man, they are killing me. I gotta do a lot of work. There's no book of heroes on this one, but let's see. We do we have a book of fighting and stuff? Uh, magic items. We do have a book of fighting and we have a book of spells. We could take the book of building. So I guess we just gotta get. The book of building can go in there. The book of fighting. We just have to have enough elixir, or I can just use it on that. So I mean, we got day, we got six days. We're into crystal league, so 
hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. I know it's something a little bit goofy, but you know, I'm in a good mood. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. You guys make sure you subscribe with those to the post notifications on. You know, check out that community tab. Also go check out Patreon and make sure you sponsor if you can. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bash.